Hey, Ira Miller here with Homes Around the Villages YouTube channel. Today we're bringing you another brand new home walkthrough. So we are out in the village of Dabney. And I had some folks, Jim and Donna, thank you so much, call me up, ask me if I would mind doing a walkthrough for them because they're closing tomorrow. And um, so I love to come out here and do walkthroughs of brand new homes and bring them to everybody on my YouTube channel. So that's where we are. We're in a designer neighborhood. This home is a Bougainvillea. It's very similar to the Amarillo and the Sunkist in the Cottage series. So um, we're going to kind of go and do a complete walkthrough for Jim um, and Donna. Now this is a walkthrough, it's not a home inspection. So um, home inspections, a home inspector comes along and he plugs every single outlet, he lifts up and down every single window. So I'm just gonna go through and make sure that pretty much the cabinet doors work, all the faucets work, there's no leaking going on. Um, I'm gonna try to make sure everything is in working condition. Uh, as we go through this brand new home. So let's go ahead and get started on this and then we'll kind of narrate as we go. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and um, now the yard light is on an electronic eye, so that'll probably come on here shortly, probably while we're doing our walk through every single uh, yard light will come on automatically because of this eye right here. So, oh, there you go. So I was able to turn it on just by covering it up. So that works. We're going to go ahead and check these outside lights real quick before we go on inside. We have some outside lights on the front porch here. Okay, let's see if um, that switch turned on our carriage lights, which it did. So we have our carriage lights working out here on either side of the garage door. All right, so let's go ahead and get started inside then. Now, brand new homes are pretty easy because air conditioners obviously are brand new, water heaters, roof, everything is pretty much brand new. So we're just kind of checking for possible construction misses and mistakes. So let's go ahead and check that out. Doorbell. That works. Um, as we can see, all the lights are working in here. We're gonna go ahead and turn this other one on over the sink. Garbage disposal works. There we go. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Spray works, faucet works. So that's good. Let's let it run a little bit. Let's check all the cabinets, okay? So um, these are soft closed, which is nice. It does have a pull out. That's even a soft close. Let's go ahead and get the, um, the dishwasher started. Uh, I am going to Let's see. Um, okay. We'll get that started. Make sure there's no leaking going on under the sink. Which I'm not seeing anything. I don't know if you ordered a Lazy Susan or if you expected one in there. It's just a corner cabinet, actually. All right, let's go ahead and check the, um, the range here. All 
there we go. Brand new, so probably just takes some getting uh, the gas. Warmings, center tray. Okay, let's try this one. That one works. Okay, very good. All right, let's go ahead and turn the bake on and then get that started. And let that go. Oh, let me go grab uh, something out of my car so we can test the microwave. Okay, got our microwave stuff and refrigerator. So let's check the uh, vent. Uh, so high, low, uh, surface light works. Dim, high, dim. So that works. All right, good. Let's go ahead and I can feel the heat coming out of this. Now we can kind of look through there. We can see that the broiler is working. So, uh, or the bake. So we can go ahead and cancel that. We'll hit the broil, make sure that's working for you. Let's go ahead and express cook. Hold up here. Okay. Uh, let's try it again. All right. So we see it's working good. And it's spinning around good. Excellent. Cancel. All right, let's continue with our cabinets. Corner cabinet. I can definitely feel the broiler working. And check these cabinets, check the pullouts. Okay, all right, let's go over here. All right, so we have our little um, Allen wrenches and little uh, tools for the locks on these doors. But the Allen wrenches are for uh, the doorknobs. Okay. Very good. And very good. All right, let's check the water. Water's on. So water's coming out good. All right. Let's pour that out and then check the ice. Uh, crushed. Let's see if there's even any ice in there first. So, no ice. Um, So it's off. We're going to turn it on. Probably not going to make any ice while we're here, but we did turn the ice maker on, okay? So we can't test that right now. Refrigerator seems to be working fine. Light works good. All right, um, so let's start on this side of the house over here. As we see, the fan is working. 
pocket door. Working fine. Fins working good. Last time I checked homes, um, there were holes above the door, so we'll kind of make sure that I don't see any holes above here. Okay. So you have your rack in here. That seems to work okay. Closes well. And your light works good. So, first light works. Second light works. Your exhaust, which goes up through the light. There we go. We'll turn that on. Flush the toilet. Works good. I like to let it run for just a little bit. Make sure that it drains good. And then we'll hit the shower. Make sure there's no leaking going on in the shower head. Which looks fine. Okay. Seems to drain good. Let's go in under here. And no leaking. Soft clothes. A little bit of a space up here, which is kind of a dust catcher. Probably could have, um, probably could have uh, put some caulking because it's tight against the wall up here. Got all your racks. It's nice and tight. Nice and tight. So, all right. Fan works. You know, you have your little red button here for a designated outlet, which is right here so that out that switch operates this outlet all right so that looks good there these clothes good like it Check the lock. I don't know why that one trim piece in the bathroom is sticking out, but it is what it is. It can probably do a little bit better. A little bit out here too. Okay. All right, so that's this side of the house. Let me shut off the fans. Um, let's go to the lanai while we're here.
So fan and lights work. So they still have a little bit of blue tape out here, which there's a mark up there in the drywall. They probably still need to come back and there's But yeah, if you stand, if you look at it from up here, you can kind of see a little bit from this side, a little bit better. Screens look good. Okay. Uh, let's, so they do have some more tape up there where they have some discoloration and they missed a little bit in their caulking up there. So <clears throat> superintendent's been doing his job out here. So that works. Close is good like it's supposed to. <sighs> Working good. Anything here I need to check? Not really. Okay. There's a loose molding right up here. Okay. In this window. This is the master bedroom window. You want to make sure that those fit. This is kind of bent a little bit. You know, it should go up in, in like that. It's kind of hanging down. So you might want to get them to kind of look at that screen. Um, let's go around over here. So, hmm. I mean, look at the siding. <clears throat> You're missing a molding strip here. See how you have this and this and this, but nothing over here. This has to be a molding. It needs to be replaced up there. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm looking at the siding too, how it kind of makes sure that it fits together correctly while we're out here. That works good. Um, let's go around. Got your keypad installed, which is nice. A little bit of, looks like drywall mud on there. Okay. Okay. Let's just go around the rest of the house while we're here. Checking out all the windows. I like to make sure there's no scratches too on these windows. Could have been cleaned up a little bit better. Um,
fact, they could have screwed that in a little bit better up at the top. Looks like it's, it needs to be screwed in a little bit more up at the top. See, it's kind of tight here. So, might want to think about asking them to do that. Uh, this window here. Okay. Looks okay. Um, just checking out the siding a little bit better. Let's go back inside. We'll finish up in the, uh, well, we still got to go into the garage. Good. Okay. It's not locked. I don't think that's locked. No. Just want to check here real good. Okay, this is cooled down a little bit, but we'll still come back to that. Let me get up over here. Over here. Sometimes you can feel better than you can see, especially with those, uh, with, when it has all the same color through it. Let's go into the master. Fan works good. Let me check out um, the window here. Again, looking for any kind of what might. Okay, so the window shades work good. We have 
Ooh. So it looks like I didn't do this. Somebody was stepping on that. That's going to have to be probably replaced. <clears throat> um, looks like this is needs to be cleaned up down here too. This has some kind of glue or something on it. So that needs to be cleaned up. Seems to be good. Hot water. Run the shower here for a little bit. Also, take a shot of that window up there. It's got some black stuff kind of coming off of it. Don't really like the looks of that. stuff kind of hanging on the outside as well. So that needs to be cleaned up. All right. Let me see. It's a little, they might 
need to clean up a little bit around that. That's a little sloppy. All right. Let me um, shut this off. Okay, so I heard the vent inside there. Towel bar rack. Let's see here. Okay. Um, we're complete. Kind of see some light through here versus darkness down here so this is might need to be adjusted up there a little bit let me cut that off all righty did i test this This is a little sticky. Doesn't really slide like it should. Might be at the bottom down here. They have a guide down here. Might be that guide. Yeah, it's, that gu it's either the guide or the door itself. That needs to be adjusted a little bit. All right, um, so I'll go through the laundry room. You shut the door. sloppy but I don't know how much you want to complain about that extra tile and uh, LVP flooring all right that fits nice and tight I 
I guess uh, mm, mm, mm. this is where your Wi-Fi is. I mean, uh, your sprinkler is. Um, water days. They got you on Wednesday and Saturday here. Run times, an hour. So, start times 7 a.m. Let's go ahead and do a manual check real quick. Sprinklers, zone one, probably not many zones. Uh, let's see. So that's zone one. You have your two sprays there uh, and the sprays in the front. That looks pretty good. Let's get with zone two. Zone two, 20 minutes. I'm gonna shut this off. No leaks or anything down here. So that's good. Zone two. Let's see, zone one is still on, but it's winding down, I guess. Zone two is up here in the uh, plant bed. All right, let's see, zone three for an hour. Whew. That's a long time, but I know it's brand new sod. So that's probably why they have it on for so long. All right, zone three is over here. It's in the plant beds. They need to go ahead and come through here and open that up. What you got? Um, need to open these up for the sprinklers. For an hour. That's the whole backyard. That's good. And probably five is the other side, and I would imagine that's probably about it. So, it's your water shut off. Okay, um, one thing I do want to do though. Uh, Here's five, oh, only four. One, two, three. Probably three is on the other side as well. Um, I wanna check this window out that we saw though. So, ah, uh, oh, it's just some, it, it's, Just dirt that needs to be cleaned up, but they do need to add that. So, not a biggie. Let's see, is he on the other side too? Yeah, 
So zone three is for both sides. Yeah, zone three is on uh, either side of the house, and then four is the back. And that's the, all, all the zones you have. All right, so. That's gonna complete our walkthrough. Last thing I wanna mention is that if you would like to have me represent you with either a new home or a pre-owned home here in the villages that are listed by the villages or sold by the villages sales office, you can give me a call. I'd be more than happy to discuss with you my fee for assisting you um, because of the fact that when you're a buyer, you're buying from a seller's agent. So all the agents in um, the village of sales office are all seller's agents. Uh, if you ask them, they'll tell you that. But anyways, I'm here for you. If you'd like me to assist you from beginning to end of a transaction, look over a house. I am a licensed contractor as well as a licensed real estate broker, not just the salesperson. Um, I'd be more than happy, to, like I said, to discuss with you a fee for me doing so. Okay, so if you would like representation, I'm here for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. Oh, so. How do you contact me? Give me a call, 352-204-9026. You can text or call, or ira at imrealty.org. You can email me. I'd be more than happy to speak with you and talk to you about what my services are, what I do, and everything that you've seen here. So I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if I can be assistance to you and keep watching.